Now complete, we turn our attention to the teams that barely made the field and the teams that barely missed the field. Belmont, Temple, Arizona State, St. John's, pretty accurate from what we predicted earlier. No today. question. I mean, you have probably minutes. eight to ten teams that you're looking at for probably three to four spots. And these teams were all in that conversation. And it becomes a matter of what the committee chooses when they go into the voting booth. And no issues at all here because, again, when you get the, as Seth likes to always say, if you played yourself into that position, right. then there's not really much room for you to whimper and complain. And teams that were close but not making the tournament, UNC Greensboro, Alabama, TCU, and Indiana, Seth. Yeah, and again, those uh, teams all lost considerable number of games in their own power conferences. UNC Greensboro, you know, the fact that it looks like, I don't know if they're the first team out, but they're even on this list, uh, a great accomplishment for them. Just not enough quality wins. Yeah. So I think the committee basically you know, kind of split the difference here. They got Belmont in, but they were did not reach as deep into the power conference well as maybe some people were expecting. I think that's pretty... I'm sorry for those teams that didn't get in. Sure, no But doubt. I, I think that's a good strategy, a good place to land where they did. Okay, you have no argument, Clark. None at all, because, again, it's very... There's a thin line, but when you're looking at the teams that were in that last four in, last four out conversation, I think the committee landed in the right spot. All right, here's how the conferences broke down, the ones that earned multiple bids, and here's how it looks. Eight teams out of the Big Ten, seven out of the ACC, seven out of the SEC, and then the Big 12 is next with six. Uh, that's pretty much the way you guys thought it would be. As we I'm look looking at my weekend. notes from earlier today, and I had about that way in terms of the power six, clearly, when you take a look at what transpired there. Now, seven non-Power 6 teams earned an at-large invitation, Seth. Yeah, but I, I, I go back to that list of the teams that didn't get in when you talk about Oregon winning the Pac-12 yeah. and St. Mary Bubble winning squeezers. the West, Confer yeah. West Coast Conference and then BCU losing in the A-10. So those were three spots. Right. That, that graphic that we showed up, three of those teams would have been in the field, but for those results, that's why it's March Madness. All right.